Hey guys, this is your friend Mainal from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel another video on Tecla Structural Designer. So friends, in this video, we'll show you how to remove the error due to seismic demand or the warning due to which is written as not in SFRS. So friends, we had designed this building in Tecla Structural Designer as you can see here. Now, here, let's uh, go to design member static and let's check the error which is shown here. So here, we have this warning that is seismic not in SFRS that is not in seismic moment resisting frame and the member has been included in the SFRS member has not been included in the SFRS this is the warning which is coming which can be resolved by selecting the member and uh, then we can go here and uh, then just uh, tick here in a seismic uh, force resisting frame so we know their solution to it which we had in discussed earlier but why this warning arises let's discuss on that so first of all while you know uh, assigning your seismic load let's go to the loading part and while uh, let's go to the seismic load part and we'll just check the seismic uh, wizard so when we uh, do this uh, particular seismic loading we have this option of analysis procedure to be used so we have two analysis procedure equivalent lateral force procedure which uses a particular code uh, now we have selected the indian code so this is the uh, equivalent lateral uh, force, force procedure indian code is 18893 part 1 2016 plus 7.6 and if you use model uh, response uh, spectrum analysis it will use the same code but with a different clause so these two are different so when you are using this model response spectrum analysis you can you don't need to change anything in the model but when you are using this equ uh, equivalent lateral force resistant system then you need to make all this particular uh, uh, members as your in SFR, uh, in seismic moment resisting frame that is in SFRF so in special I will just uh, select this and we have this option of as you can see in a seismic force resisting system you have to click this and you have to give this a uh, special uh, uh, direction or that is the special moment frame or ordinary moment frame so let's go for the ordinary moment frame here and then right click on it and then go to design member so after you just uh, click on the design member as you can see the member has passed so like this like this we need to before you know, assigning the seismic load we need to do like this for all the members let's uh, do this for one beam as well uh, this this is the beam and this we can go to this particular zone in a seismic resisting uh, frame and then you can just do this as ordinary moment frame and then you can just right click and then, then design member static so as you can see this is passing so like this we can do for uh, the beams and columns uh, we have to include if we include this all these members beforehand by selecting them and uh, selecting the beams and columns separately and you know just uh, clicking on the option of in a seismic uh, force for system like this we can do for the entire structure and then can use this equivalent lateral system of your analysis so once again let's just delete this particular seismic load which we are having right now and then we'll just go with the response spectrum analysis this time so this code spectra we are selecting ignore seismic below the plinth level important specter for the residential one and this time we are using this model response spectrum analysis so when you are using model spect response spectrum analysis before that we can just select this and uh, after selecting this we had done this we will just untick this and we will select this and also uh, we will what we'll do is we'll untick this it is not in a seismic force resisting system so after that we'll go to the seismic load seismic wizard and after going to the seismic wizard this time again plinth level one next this time we'll not use equivalent lateral force procedure we'll use the model response spectrum analysis so it depends on you which process you are using if you want to use the model response spectrum analysis you don't need to do anything but if you are willing to use this equivalent lateral force procedure for your seismic loading then you have to select all members and include them in sfrs so we'll just do this is next and rc moment resisting frame without any masonry inflates we have made a lot of videos on these things earlier 
so we'll just select the moment frame systems and if you're new to our channel you can watch the videos on tecla structural design which we had made earlier to know more about this just click on finish and then we'll just take as your operating next next and finish and after that we'll just go to this design and then design all static so now you can check uh, whether the structure is uh, passing or not or it is uh, the warnings are removed due to the seismic demand or not so as you can see there is no error of seismic demand now in this particular model so in this way we can resolve the issue of seismic demand and we have also known in which case we have to include the members in SFRS. So friends, how did you find this video? Please let us know and stay tuned to our channel and stay tuned and connected with Civil Center. Bye bye.